Hi there, my awesome friends. So this is another tutorial on how to bash your stash. And what I have done is cut two little ATCs and I have a little bit of odds and ends on my desk that I don't really know what to do with. So today we are going to do a little bit of collaging. And here's my process. I hope you enjoy it. Sweet and simple. What I have done for the tutorial is pre-cut my little birds. I fussy cut them. They were a gift from a happy mail friend. So, oopsie, I think my glue is nearly finished. So what to do when your glue is nearly done? Just looking for my blade. Lots of stick glue here. When your glue is done, you dig out the last bit. Okay. Alrighty, making sure the glue is right to the edges. And I found this little piece of, or a whole sheet of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, which I thought would be a nice background. Okay, let's get that out the way. Can you use your scissors to trim it? I'm just using the blade because it's on my desk right next to me. Felt like there was something underneath, but there wasn't. And let's just trim the rest. And this one. So here I have prepped my two um, ATC with the background cover or colour. Um, I had the strip of stickers that was also sent to me in a happy mail. And I just thought let's see what we can do with what we have here. So I have a die cut that was lying on my desk for ages. I have a little bird. I have a little word from a magazine. And I have a small scrap of... Also, scrapbooking um, paper that was sent to me in a happy mail. So, let's have a look and see what we can do with this. And as you know, I love making pairs of things. So, we are going to make a pair or two. Okay. So, when I'm making two cards i find it easier to prep them together because then you can line up everything and um, it's just much easier to prep um, there you go i think that's kind of straight and again just trim it from the back so also a lovely way to use up those little pretty pieces that you keep for just in case and this lovely buff um, card has been gifted to me from a friend she keeps me in steady supply so thank you Karen for that and it's amazing the more I share it with other friends the more I get so I challenge you today to share some of your stash with somebody else. And I just want to trim this a little bit better. There you go. So quite often we have um, stash or goodies that we don't particularly like. Um, but somebody else might find the beauty in it. So don't be shy and just share. You know, or... Um, Bless somebody in a happy mail. 
Okay, so we have one little leaf die cut, pine leaf die cut. We have a hummingbird. That looks so cute. Little hummingbird. This was cut from a magazine. I just loved it. It said, come and see. So let's just see. And here we can put our little robin on there. You can say grow here. So I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I want to use. I think that's it. And then we've got these. And I kind of... It says here, I love you more than you will ever know. Nope. I don't know if I want to use the love things, but maybe this strip of green will pop. I don't know what kind of stickers these are. They're like kind of a washi sticker, which is very nice. So let's just layer a piece of that. Mm, that's very pretty just adds an extra pop of color and then we'll glue the rest on so hummingbird I really struggle with these special glue nozzles um, from having stainless steel pins that actually rust I cannot seem to find the right pin to keep the nozzle open and I find it extremely um, frustrating. So if any of you have a tip, please share it with me on how you keep the nozzle open of these very small glue tips. I kind of like that. And... It seems to be blocked again. So I, I actually boiled this tip to try and get it to open. And I'm not so sure it worked so well. There we go. And our little robin. Yeah, this thing is blocked again. Today is my I hate glue day because, as you can see, my stick glue just dried up and now this one's blocked. Very, very irritating. How cute is that? Close this glue and then again trim from the back. Pieces of washi tape. And two pretty little cards that look extremely plain. So you guys know me. What do I do when I have something that's really plain and I don't know what to do with it to finish it. I always put a border on it. I'm going to use some white. I don't know how effective the white will be. But I like it because it's very subtle and yet if you actually hold the card you can see that little bit of extra effort was made. The sad thing that's happened here in South Africa is um, a couple of weeks ago, our post office has been placed under liquidation, which means all the beautiful ATCs that I have posted and the handmade postcards and happy mails that I've sent might never reach you. 
And for that, I apologize. And that's really sad because I'm also expecting a happy mail from all my international friends. And I really don't know if I'm ever going to receive it. We're hoping and praying that there will be a solution because our post office is government owned and there's been a lot of, um, let's put it, hanky-panky with the finances. So we're not really sure what's going to happen, but we wait in anticipation. So there's two very simple and really pretty cards. And I don't often use pink, but I think they came out quite sweet. What do you think? Quick and easy and use what you have on your table. Have an awesome day.